using a selfie stick for even testing the Z1 was not cutting it, so I was forced to buy a tripod to test out. I'm not a professional photographer, and I primarily test the features of the Z1. Even with the limited scope of my testing use, the weight of the Z1 on top of a selfie stick makes it dangerous. It could easily tip over and break the lens of a $1,000 camera. I decided to get a tripod. As my primary requirement was for stability, I got this rather cheap tripod. Though to be honest, at $65 is a bit expensive for my purposes. I probably just need a stable platform to test the Z1 out in the field. As the weight of the tripod is not that important, I just got the cheaper aluminum version and not carbon fiber. I may also use a tripod with a DSLR. However, the primary purpose of this review is to look at the use of this particular tripod with the Ricoh Theta Z1. I will at least need to extend the Z1 up to eye level, possibly higher. The primary advantage of this type of tripod is that I could extend the base out to be super wide and also quite low. My intention is to attach a monopod on top of the column that's in the center of the tripod. There are two settings for the width of the base. I'm using the more narrow width right now. I'm going to detach the ball head from the top of the tripod to expose the 3 8 inch stud that will connect the top of the tripod to a monopod. I'll also test it out with the 3 8 to 1 quarter inch connector to mount the Theta directly on top of the center column of this tripod. We'll see how it works both with and without the monopod. The tripod comes with enough hardware to connect the Ricoh Theta Z1 directly onto the center column portion. The center column can be extended. There is an included 3 8 inch to 1 quarter inch converter so that you can screw the Theta directly onto that main center base. And although the base can be extended, it can't be extended that much without additional hardware. So you'll have an advantage over a normal tripod, but not that much of an advantage. With the included hardware, I can also attach it to a monopod. So it's a 3 8 inch to 3 8 inch connection. I now have an adjustable wide base and a narrow pole, which the Theta can sit on top of. The inexpensive monopod did not come with the tripod. It's a, I already had it. Both the monopod and the tripod actually fit into the case that came with the tripod. So this case is free. It did come with the tripod. It does fit in nicely, has some nice padding. So this should protect your other equipment if you, you know, throw in your trunk. Also, they come with this nice uh, shoulder strap. I'm just gonna test the tripod with an external battery so I can power the Z1 um, out in the field and change the, the portable battery when the Z1 runs out of power. I'm going to attach an external battery uh, that has a USB charging uh, port on the battery and it's going to supply power to the Z1 using a standard USB-C cable. I'm going to Velcro both the battery and the USB cable onto the monopod and tripod assembly so that I can walk around with the Z1 and this tripod and then take a picture for virtual tours or that type of testing. By bringing multiple batteries to the site, I could charge, keep using the Z1 without it being plugged into AC for many, many hours. In order to get the USB cable to fit into the Z1 while it's on the top of the monopod, I'm using a quarter inch by 20 thread per inch stud that I bought at a hardware store. These are about maybe like two or three dollars. You can also buy these prefabricated from Ricoh or from Amazon or eBay. And I think they're about $20 to $30 if you buy it pre-built. I'm not a professional photographer, so I just went to the local hardware store and I went to the section with the boats and I got the stud and a coupling. And it, it's been working fine for years. As I'm just taking still images in my test, I'm going to only use this smaller battery so it's lighter and it's not as bulky. Uh, it's probably only outputting 500 milliamps. This type of setup is working out well for me because I normally just got into the field and sometimes you 
you know, you're driving your car and you get to the site and maybe you forgot to fully charge the Z1. So if I have a couple of batteries like this, at least it gives me a bit of buffer or maybe the camera was charged and I remembered everything, but I'm out in the field longer and I'm taking more pictures. If you ever have a monopod, this is quite a good setup. Pretty happy with it. The bottom of your monopod will need to have a 3 8 inch female connector on it. Feel free to leave in the comments what your setup is. I'm not a professional photographer, so I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.